Hello, my name is Tom McKinnon, Demand Generation Manager here at Armacell. You may recognize me from our other Armacell Answers videos, such as what is our value and how can Armacell Answers help your business? One of the most frequently asked questions we receive is around the many different insulating material types. In this video, we'll examine the common materials used to make insulation and their structures. All insulation materials and structures are composed of small gas pockets that slow the movement of heat through the material overall. The slower the heat can move from one gas pocket to the next, the better the insulative property of the material. There are, of course, numerous insulation materials available. Today, we'll focus on three of the largest types, fibrous, granular, and cellular. Fibrous insulations are composed of small diameter fibers that finally divide the airspace and include varying levels of binders, depending on the application. Fibrous insulations tend to have high water absorption and high water vapor permeability. Therefore, a vapor retarder jacket or coating is needed to avoid moisture ingress. Examples of fibrous insulations include fiberglass and stonewool. Granular insulations are composed of small nodules that contain voids or hollow spaces. Gases can be transferred between the spaces, meaning granular materials generally have high water absorption and permeability. Granular materials can be further broken down into two different types. Flexible types, such as aerogels and certain microporous products, can be bent without a loss in strength or integrity. Rigid types, such as calcium silicate, perlite, and other types of microporous products, oppose any tendency to bend. Cellular insulations, as the name suggests, are made up of cells of gas within a material that are either completely sealed off from each other or are open to gas exchange. A material is considered open cell if less than 90% of the cells are sealed off from each other. With gas free to be exchanged between the cells and the surrounding air, these materials tend to have high water absorption and permeability. Flexible urethane foam is a part of this family. If 90% of the cells or more are completely sealed off from each other with no gas exchange between them, the material is closed cell. This lack of gas exchange leads to a low water absorption and low water vapor permeability. Flexible elastomeric foam, or FEF, falls into this family, while rigid versions include cellular glass, phenolic foam, polyiso, and polyethylene. So what kinds of insulation does Armacell offer? We are the pioneer in flexible elastomeric foam technology, with our Armaflex insulation recently celebrating its 70 year anniversary. With its 100% closed cell structure, our flexible elastomeric foam offerings have low water vapor absorption and permeability, great corrosion under insulation mitigation properties, and high thermal resistance values. Armacell also offers a family of polyethylene products, another 100% closed cell material used to prevent condensation and heat loss, and to protect pipes from freezing and our Armagel family of next generation Aerogel products are extremely flexible and bendable, offering fantastic thermal performance and mitigation of corrosion under insulation. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe to our channel. When you have questions, Armacell answers.